Today we're checking out an FPS with roguelite elements that will have you blowing up robots and discovering secrets in RoboQuest. You can play this game single player, with a friend, or with a random through quick play. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this game and which class is your favorite. In RoboQuest you play as a robot guardian brought back to life by an adventuring human. Once back online you remember your mission which is to bring the humans to the city. However, there appears to be a legion of bad bots standing in your way. You set up a base and your journey begins. At the start, halfway through and before the end of any area, you will find a safe room where you can change out weapons, heal, and collect buffs for your run, some of which cost power cells. While you are venturing out, you will come across an assortment of enemies that will try to stop you. However, there is also an assortment of weapons to combat them with, from assault rifles, tomahawks, energy crossbows, and even a pair of deadly cast iron pants. The arsenal is impressive, even more so with the amount of affixes that might roll on them. The combat feels great with enough variety to fit most playstyles. Shoot, stab, or stomp on enough bad bots and you will gain a level. Leveling up will increase your max health, damage, and provide you with perk options. These perk options can power up your main ability, secondary ability, gun damage, or defense. They are impactful and you can really start to feel yourself getting stronger the more perks you collect. At the end of an area, you will fight a boss. These fights can be tough with each one having their own set of mechanics to contend with. Don't let their charming designs fool you, they are quite deadly. But whether it be from the boss or some other bad bot, at some point you'll probably get turned into scrap metal. No reason to fret, you'll be brought back to the base where you can use the wrenches you've gathered to purchase upgrades. These upgrades can increase the weapon and buff options in safe rooms, increase perk options while leveling, permanently increase max health, and more. Now as fun as combat is in the game, it's only half of what the game has to offer. Spread through the maps are useful items hiding in the nooks and crannies. These can be keys that you will use to unlock new areas, data logs that detail more of the lore, NPCs that will have you on the lookout for items to bring back to them. You might even find an item that unlocks a new class of guardian. While you start off with only one class, you can eventually have seven playable classes to choose from. I currently have five myself, with my personal favorite being the Engineer. Each class has a unique playstyle, abilities, and perks. It's worth taking them all for a test drive. When it comes to multiplayer, you team up with one ally called a Brobot. You could do this either with a friend or you can hop into quick play and play with somebody random. There's no voice or text chat, so when playing with randoms it will come down to pinging items and shaking your bot face yes or no. Progress is saved for both players, which is nice. You can even unlock some items if the Brobot has something that you don't. However, if both of you don't have a door unlocked, then that door is not an option for progression. Also, weapons from chests are not shared, but if dropped from an enemy, it is shared. And that's the general gist of this game. A great FPS roguelite that I have been having a lot of fun with. I look forward to fighting through and exploring more of this game and getting those humans safely to that city.